Morning, Caroline here. Um, I've had to shut the blinds, so uh, I hope uh, it's okay. So I've not got so much lighting because it's very sunny this morning in Gloucestershire, and we love the sun. So today is number nine in the series of Vitalize Your Life, and I can see that Whiskers is in the background, so he's come to join us. And um, you know, I was thinking about some of the wars we rage with inside ourselves and, and how to release some of that, the inner turmoil that goes on. And I read a book last year um, as part of my book club called The Freedom Writer's Diary. And this teacher, Erin Gruel, um, was a teacher in Los Angeles and she had all types of students. You know, some from posh backgrounds, some from living in gangland almost. But they all had something in common that they all were struggling to be the best possible possible people that they wanted to be and, and actually to graduate. So she introduced them firstly to Anne Frank and how Anne Frank had to write, you know, was in her own war and her diaries to, of survival. And also, she um, introduced them to this lady here, and I'm not sure I'll say it right, but Zlata Filipovic. And she was in the Bosnian Wars, and she's a survivor. She didn't have the fate that Anne Frank did. But she's a survivor of the Bosnian Wars, and she got through that war by writing her diaries, and her diaries were published. She was a young girl as well. So Erin um, introduced all her students to be able to write on a daily basis what was going on. And they could put that diary entry in, and it was totally anonymous. It was clear some of the Things that were written in there most probably weren't very anonymous because uh, just of circumstances and people. But what she found was it was a place for them to go and write and just release some of the things inside of them so that they could be living to their best potential. So I think it would be good for everyone to have a look at themselves and is there things that we're telling ourselves that just really aren't true? Actually, maybe if we wrote them out, would have a powerful meaning to us. So my advice is to write a journal or come from a place of gratitude. One of the things I do every morning is think of three things that I'm grateful for. And it means that you just wake up with more of a sense of possibility and positivity. So thank you for listening to my video. This is video nine of Revitalize Your Life. Change your habits, change your life. Bye. See you at the next video.